New party member! Oh, cool, and you came with your own Septif as well. Saddest whip. Okay, then. Uh, I want to see what your moves are. Hmm. I wonder, indeed. Damn it! I missed di some dialogue! The time has clearly progressed. Oh well. Well there. It appears to me that your faces seem a bit older and wiser. I'm glad to see that you have matured in body and mind. Also, what level is Sherazard? Uh, 12 to my 9. Oh, there it is, Silken Whip. Recently, some of the children... Okay, I've actually seen that already, so maybe the time hasn't completely progressed. There we go. Level up! Eagle Egg Horse as received. Good work. It seems like you've completed your objective but without any trouble. Except for saying that right there. Definitely had some trouble with that. If you finish any other jobs, please come back and report again. We got them all! So what does Eagle Eye do? Also, evade, hit, shield, and attack. Uh, sees enemies from a distance. That actually seems really damn useful. Um, I like information, but... I like the idea of being able to see my enemies before I'm right on top of them as well. I like it quite a lot. I wonder... Uh, yep, it is. Yep. Our work overlapped a bit. I see. I had a new whip scheduled to come in, but unfortunately won't be here until much later. Come to think of it, Shara, you used a sword for training, so why take a whip for the job? Well, if you must know, it was an accessible weapon for me at a young age, so I'm familiar with it. <laughs> I don't think you do want to know, Joshua. I think there's a story <laughs> to that. Oh my, are you with them today too, Sherazar? It turns out that I'm going to be working with these two for the time being. I'm happy to see that you can work alongside each other like this. But Shara, you shouldn't teach Estelle or Joshua any bad things, okay? <laughs> well, usually you're a good girl, but you have some bad habits if you know what I mean. Understand? If you dare teach them anything bad, I'll, I'll, I'll just cry. I kind of feel bad for Sherazard, but at the same time, she has clearly brought this upon herself. Hi there, what brings all you three together like this? Well, we have a job that needs taken care of. Working hard, aren't you? Oh, that reminds me, the accessory you ordered came in, Sherazard had to come all the way from the Republic, so it took some time to get in stock. Right now I'm in the middle of something, though, so I'll have to stop by again later to pick it up. Sure thing, I'll be here whenever you're done with whatever it is you've got on your plate. Um... Okay, let's just buy one of those. 
Are you a foreigner? You're definitely a suitable age, but for a bride, you're a bit too exotic. I definitely... yeah... <laughs> that was terrific. Into the ornament factory. I accepted the job from the mayor. But he hasn't shown up even though he promised to come by. It's not like him since he's always been a stickler about punctuality. The mayor came by to ask about some septium engraving earlier. The key piece of Esmelis hasn't arrived. I wonder if something happened. Okay, so... For reference, you have four slots open. To my three. I can open one of them, though. But, uh, before I do that... Hmm. Okay, I think opening another slot is more valuable. So, I'm gonna do this. Over here, over here, this one. Uh, and then I don't quite have enough wind anymore for this. But I do have enough... Hmm. Okay, let's see. Max EP plus 5%. EP cost minus 10%. Or I can do agility or defense. They I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this, I think. New magic! That's pretty cool. My papa's been asking me some weird things lately. Like, who do I choose? Uh, hmm. Rion's mother came here looking for a bride. <laughs> My uni is way too young for the likes of him. But... I can't allow uni's husband to be anything less than a man... Less a man than myself. <laughs> it looks like the realization that he's the father of a young daughter is settling in. You seem to be a good match for my daughter, Joshua. But I'm gonna have to fail you. The reason being, you're too handsome. It's not that you've done anything wrong, but I can just see you having a serious girl trouble someday. <laughs> and therein lies the problem. My father has stopped complaining about the work my husband does. But it does look like he's holding his tongue all the time. I'm sure he'd feel much better if he just said what he felt. The young kids these days only tend to focus on profit as a way to gain acceptance from others. But back in my day, we wanted to be accepted. We had to work hard. It's like my daughter says. We have to watch these kids with a careful eye. It's like he says to his daughter, rather. Uh, I just completely changed what he was saying there. I'm so excited. Listen, listen! My daddy's coming home. I hope he'll be home soon. I want to play together. I received word from my husband that today he's finished up with his current job. <laughs> I think I'd better cook something extra special. 
longer we were apart, the deeper the bonds grow between my husband and I. Who you conspicuously failed to name. Um. Hmm. Oh, Estelle and Joshua. And... Wow, it's Shara, too! All three bracers spoken of in town together at once. Does this mean that something happened? No comment. Oh, uh, well, she has fallen asleep again, it seems. Gazing out from the top of here every day is quite enjoyable. The changing seasons, the lives of those people living here in town. Though they are all minor, I can see these changes with my own eyes. Recently, I've seen Mrs. Bloom out and about quite a bit. Oh, I wonder what she's up to. I wonder, indeed. There's a wall there, but not here. The airliner coming from Bose is late. Thanks to that, there's no eye candy for me to watch disembark. This puts a serious crap in my one sole pastime. Seriously. Ah, Stella and Joshua, welcome! Ah, Shirazard, you're here too! Are you here for a drink today? Please try not to tease Mr. Faulkner, okay? I won't tease him at all if that- I wasn't teasing him at all if that's what he thought. I was just cuddling him! Sherazard. Really? Hello, Faulkner! Ah, sh sh Sherazard! G good day to you! Why so tense? You don't need to worry. I'm on duty right now. But praise the goddess. Uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> we appreciate your hard work. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you later. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow. Way to throw shade, Joshua. Well, he is definitely in. Hi there, Shara. Please make yourself at home. And last place to visit. Though they're complete opposites, my grandson, Luke, appears to get along well with his neighbor, Pat. I wish Luke would pick up a few good things from Pat. The bracers who helped Pat seem to be active recently. Yeah, that would be us. I heard there were a pair of young bracers, a boy and a girl. The boy is especially well spoken of by the wives' circles as being quite the cutie. <laughs> You know, liberal news is selling like hotcakes lately. But until just recently, it was a minor magazine circulated in and around the Royal City. Neat. Well, okay. That's enough dicking around. We have a prologue to finish. Damn it! So, uh, let's get back on to that. Estelle, Joshua, even Sherazard. Is something the matter? Do you remember a girl named Josette? She's a student from the Royal Academy who should be staying here. Of course I remember her, but... She checked out just a moment ago. I guess if we weren't taken around town, we would have caught her. <clears throat> To the airship!
just straight over here, and... Please excuse the delay! The airliner should be arriving any time now, so please be patient. Yo, Alan! It's us, if you haven't noticed. So, uh, what's up? You didn't by any chance happen to see a girl in a school uniform around here, did you? A girl in a uniform? A school uniform from where? From the Genesis Royal Academy. Oh baby, those uniforms are so hot. The contrast of those neatly pleated... Okay, no, stop. Thus defineth man's eternal struggle. Back on topic here. So you didn't see a girl from the Royal Academy. In a Royal Academy uniform. Nope, not this month, and believe me, I watch for those. I check all the passengers boarding and disembarking, so I can tell you at least that she hasn't come here. Which means she came to roll into along the roads without using an airliner. This complicates things. Our search field suddenly got much bigger. Come to think of it, there must be others, so they've got to be hiding somewhere. I almost forgot that we'd found this. Could this be some sort of clue? Oh right, we did find that, didn't we? Shara, do you know any places nearby where cerebus trees grow? I'm pretty sure they grow in Mistwald, south of Roland. Back into the forest, it sounds. That settles it. Let's hit the highway through Roland South Gate. Okay, let's go. Wait up! You're running like a crazy lunatic! Who can just walk at a time like this? Maybe I should think about cutting back on those blasted cigarettes. What indeed? You kids again, eh? Actually, we've got to get a boss ASAP! I know! That's why we're heading there on foot! It'll take some time, but it's not a distance that we can't cover by ourselves. And the... Not only, not just any scoop, but the mother of all scoops! No time to talk! We've got to make the, it there today! I wonder. <laughs> See you later, Estelle, Joshua. Well, aren't they a lively pair? Friends of yours? Those were the reporters from one of the jobs that asked us to take over. I wonder what's going on. I wonder. And, uh, Luke, uh, went... Lucius went to Bosa as well, didn't he? I seem to recall that was the case. Oh, I just remembered something that I wanted to check. Uh, you have three range. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Because I noticed that she was set by default, set further back... Oh, I have the moment mini map now. That is amazing. Uh, but uh, yeah, I noticed. Okay, just just the one. Uh, literally just the one. Hmm. Okay then. I just wanted the time step, but uh, okay. One experience point and two points of time. Terrific. Okay. D2 are over. I almost ran into the beetle there. But I didn't. But I almost did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I should have seen this coming, to be honest. But hey, uh, okay, that did zero damage. I guess the extra three levels that Shara has really make it actually know you can't hurt Estelle either. 
I am too strong for the likes of you. Or so it would seem. And you're all dead. Well, three out of four anyway. But that does remind me though. Uh, cut through wind, delivering a powerful slash. Area attack, small, I think? Well, in terms of physical attack power, Sherry is not that much, much ahead of Estelle and Joshua, it seems. But I think she has them beat in some other aspects. Wait a second. Right, so, uh, this is the way we need to go. 